Washington, Chinese automaker GAC Automobiles intend to offer vehicles in the United States crossed paths with Washington Exchange legislative issues on Wednesday, as the best U.S. Senate Democrat and U.S. President Donald Trump independently scrutinized Chinese exchange rehearses. GAC Automobiles, formerly known as Guangzhou Automobile Group Co. Ltd., said Monday at the Detroit Auto Show it intends to begin offering vehicles in the United States in late 2019 conceivably through an organization with Fiat Chrysler Automobiles NV. The southern Chinese automaker at first said it had would have liked to begin offering vehicles in the United States in 2017. On Wednesday, U.S. Rep. Chuck Schumer, a New York Democrat, referred to GAC's designs reported in Detroit on the Senate floor and contended that Chinese car exchange rules are clearly out of line, and an ordinarily disastrous case of China's avaricious exchanging approaches. Chinese assembled autos dispatched to the United States confront only a 2.5% tax, while U.S. fabricated autos sent to China are hit with a 25% levy. Trump told Reuters in a meeting Wednesday that we have constructed China since they have taken out such a great amount of cash regarding exchange shortages with this nation. He said that when China or another nation charges us 50% taxes, more than that sometimes, and we charge them nothing, that is not reasonable. That is not reasonable. While Schumer and Trump have conflicted on many issues, the interests of Democrats and the Republican president are more adjusted on car exchange. Both need to win votes from auto workers in modern states, for example, Michigan or Ohio whose employments could be undermined should Chinese vehicles go to the United States in high volume. Pioneers of the United Auto Workers Union frequently raise worries about U.S. China car exchange. In 2016, General Motors turned into the main significant automaker to offer a Chinese-made vehicle in the United States, bringing in its Buick Envision. GM sold 41,000 of the little SUVs in 2017. Volvo Cars, a unit of Chinese automaker Geely Automobile Holdings, has additionally been sending out vehicles from China to the United States since 2016. In June, Ford said it would move some creation of its Focus Little Auto to China from Mexico and import the vehicles to the United States by 2019. GAC couldn't quickly be gone after Remark Wednesday yet affirmed for this present week it wanted to change the name of vehicles sold in the United States from its leader image, Trumpkey, to dodge disarray with Trump. It additionally plans to inevitably offer vehicles in Europe.